Hello everyone, Lindsay Nova here. Today I am excited to bring you a Pilates Reformer workout. But before we get started, make sure that you hit subscribe if you love all things yoga, Pilates, aerial yoga, and more. So today I am coming to you from beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida, and I am on a balanced body Allegro machine. We are going to begin with some footwork on the back. So we'll start with three reds and one blue. Let's go ahead and lay all the way down on the back and get going. All right, so lay down on your back, press your shoulders and your hips into the carriage, bring your feet onto the foot bar, feet in a nice parallel position. Let's line up the heels on the foot bar, right in line with your hips. Feel the spine long in the center of your body and start to draw the navel in and up. And let's take a big cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more good breath in and out. Hollow the belly in and down as you exhale completely. Let's begin. Push the carriage out and bring it back in. We'll take 10 of these. Start to find a nice rhythm. Press and bend. And five, four, three, two, one. And bring that all the way in. Come onto the balls of your feet. Out and in 10 times. Keep everything in a nice straight line. Press and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring that all the way into close. Let's come into our Pilates V. Heels together, toes apart. Bring your heels back onto the foot bar and we press out and in. Feel some external rotation through the hips. Glue the inner thighs together. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. And close. Take the feet wide. Come onto the balls of the feet again. Out and in. Open up the hips. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And bring that all the way in to close. All right, let's come back onto the heels. Keep the left heel on. Bring the right knee to a tabletop position. Single leg out and in. Okay, option to bring the hands behind the head. Curl the head, activate the core. Three, two, one. Bring it in, change sides. Right heel on, left leg tabletop. Push, scoop the belly, breathe. Three more, three, two, one. Bring that all the way in. And keep the left ball of the foot on, right leg to your tabletop position. Push through those left toes, out and in. Three, two, one. Bring the carriage halfway in, little baby pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push it out, heel raises. Drop that heel underneath, lift back up. Three, two, one, drop the heel, stretch that right leg up. And release, bring it in, change sides. Right toes on that foot bar, left leg to your tabletop position and push out and in. And three, two, one, and little pulses here, carriage halfway in, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, push all the way out and drop that heel under, five, four, three, two, and hold it, stretch that left leg. and release, bring it all the way back in, keep the balls of the feet on the foot bar, and let's push out, both heels go under and lift. Work through the feet, find that articulation, draw the kneecaps up towards the thighs, four, three, two, and let's prance, bend one leg, and stretch the opposite heel underneath the foot bar, Pick up the pace a little bit, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up and bring it all the way back in with control. Bring your calves onto the foot bar, rock the knees side to side, get a little massage. Maybe you wanna walk down a little bit, maybe you wanna walk up. Just massage it out. All right, let's take a bridge. Go ahead and take that headrest down. All right, arms by your sides. Bring your heels onto the foot bar. Drop the chin down toward the throat. Lengthen the back of the neck. Slowly roll your hips up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. So the back muscles turn on, roll it back down, one little vertebra at a time. So draw the belly in, low belly engages to curl it all the way up, roll it back down, exhale completely. Two more here, inhale, exhale. Rolling it up, find a little bit more space in the body every time you come up. And again, curl, scoop and squeeze. Keep your hips in the air, push all the way out and bring it back in with control. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it all the way in, lift your hips, slowly roll it down. <sighs> Inhale, we'll roll back up, squeeze it up. Keep the hips in the air, bend the right knee into the chest, extend the leg toward the ceiling, lift that right hip a little higher, right leg goes down and up. Four, breathe, three, Two, hold that leg straight up and push out and in. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in, bring that right foot down, left knee into the chest, extend it up, lift the left booty up and down and up. Control the leg, stabilize through the hips. Two, one, out and in, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the foot back down, lift those hips, slowly and mindfully roll yourself down. And just rock your knees side to side, find a nice little windshield wiper. Release the back. And then bring the legs into the center. Hug the knees into your chest. Little hug, little squeeze. Rock it out side to side. And then we'll come all the way up. And we'll go to one red and one yellow spring. All right, let's just take a quick stretch here before we go back onto the back. Go ahead and straddle the carriage. Place your hands onto the foot bar. 
push the carriage back, lean the chest forward, breathe in, breathe out, find some space in the back. And then bring that all the way back in. And let's come back down onto the back. All right, so we'll move into our core series. So go ahead and take your hands in the short loops. Bring your hands up towards the ceiling. Take your legs to a tabletop position, knees over the hips, shins parallel to the floor. You wanna feel those toes lifted a little bit here. Inhale and then exhale, press the arms down and up. And reach, two more like this. Now we're going to add the head, inhale and exhale, head curls. Try to curl up to the bottom tips of the shoulder blades. And every time that you curl, scoop the navel to the spine. Two more here. Good. Open those arms to a T. Inhale, keep the head down. Exhale, press the arms by the sides, open wide, exhale to press, inhale to open, squeeze, open one more, and open, reach your hands back up, we're going to go into the hundred. So you'll press your arms down, lift your head. You can stay in this tabletop position or extend your leg to 45 degrees. You can also take your Pilates V, heels together, toes apart. Pump your arms up and down as you inhale for five counts and exhale for five counts. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Breathing in, two, three, four, five. Breathing out, two, three, four, five. Inhale, navel to spine. Exhale, scoop it in even deeper. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Breathing in, two, three, four, five. Breathing out, two, three, four, five. Nice, long, strong pumps of those arms. Last breath. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five and head down, knees into the chest. Relax the arms for a moment. <sighs> Take a breath. <clears throat> and then go ahead and bend your arms to bring the elbows down onto the carriage. Bring your legs back to the tabletop position. Palms face your foot bar. Inhale here, exhale, press the arms, find a triceps press. Good. Three, two, <clears throat> and one. Let's add our chest girl. Inhale and exhale. Control through the arms. Three, two, one. Let's add our leg extension. Coordination. Stretch it out. Bring it in, three, two, and on this next one, hold, start to bicycle your legs, switch, pull, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it down, we're gonna take one more set. Inhale, exhale, let's take the arms straight up to the ceiling for our second round of coordination. Breathe in, exhale, everything extends, return, press, exhale, last one here, and then we're going to hold, reach it out, let's scissor those legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, legs up and release it down 
and take the loops back over the post. Feet on the foot bar, knees side to side. And then hug your knees into your chest, squeeze it out. And we'll come all the way up and let's go to one red spring. Okay, and then we'll turn around. Let's take kneeling chest expansion. So take your knees against the shoulder rest, stack everything up. Go ahead and grab your hand loops and we can reach for the ropes. Okay, stack everything up. Let the palms face back, inhale here. Exhale, press it back. And exhale, press and squeeze. The spine nice and long and grow taller every time. <clears throat> Three, two, one more here. Hold it, lengthen, four, three, two, one. And release. Now go ahead and hold your hand loops. Let's take a bicep curl. Let your palms face up, inhale, and then exhale, curl it in. Breathe in and breathe out and squeeze. Four, three, two, last one, and open. So now let's go into a rowing exercise. So we'll cross the straps, and then you wanna hold on to the ropes. So give yourself a little pull here. All right, stack everything back up. Inhale, and then exhale. Bend the arms and pull. Broaden through your collarbones. Squeeze the back of the shoulders, back of the arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. And release. And then we'll go ahead and we'll turn around. Let's do some full body integration. Okay, so you can go ahead and bring your hands onto the foot bar, flex your feet so the soles of your feet push into the shoulder rest. Round your spine, tuck the chin, lift the belly, push the knees out, bring them back in. Inhale, exhale. So you want to feel that flexion through the hip joint. Three, two, one more here. And bring it all the way in. Now this time lift the chest, lift the head, and we're gonna slide all the way back, keep that shape of the body, and then glide yourself back up with control. Inhale. Exhale, two more here. Last one. And bring that all the way up. From here, let's go ahead and stand. Okay, so bring your feet back against the shoulder rest here and then round your spine. We'll take elephant. You wanna push the carriage out and in. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and walk your feet in. We're gonna lift the heels. Draw the belly in, inhale, and then exhale again, out and in. Press, three, two, 
two, and one. Now on this next one, you're gonna lengthen the spine, come all the way out into your plank, and then bring it back up. Inhale, exhale, bring it in, and push. And in one more here, out, and bring it all the way back in. Right from here, go ahead and pop your yellow spring on, one red, one yellow. And again, we're gonna push ourselves out into a plank. Okay, so you can walk your feet back a little bit. We're just gonna balance, lift that right leg up. And then change, left foot up. Bring it down, bring the carriage back in with control. Rest for a moment. One more set here. Walk the feet back, push the carriage out, find your plank, lift your right leg up, knee comes into chest. Four, three, two, one. Change sides, left foot up, knee in, four. Three, two, one. Both feet down, bring it in. Come on to your knees, big toes together, knees apart. Press your hips to your heels. Push yourself out, take a child's pose. And slowly roll yourself all the way up. All right, and let's grab our long box. Place your long box on the carriage. We'll do a little swan back extension work. So you'll lay on your belly, facing the front of your machine. Bring your hands onto the foot bar. Okay, so just lengthen through your legs. Activate all the way to the ends of the toes. So the whole body is going to be active here. Press the hip bones down, lift the navel, and keep the eyes just past the foot bar here so the head is in line. But we start to feel those back muscles fire on. And take the hands in line with your shoulders, lift your elbows, and then just push, push out and in. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Now we'll start to add a back extension here, going into our swan. So as you push out, lift the chest, stretch, and bring it back in. Four more. And push. And up. One more, let's go ahead and hold, push, lift, squeeze, four, three, two, one, and bring it all the way in. Bring your forearms onto the foot bar, forehead down, bend your knees, windshield wiper your legs out side to side. Release, and step all the way off of your box, and we'll put it away. All right, so let's lay all the way down on the back on the carriage, bring your feet into the straps. Let's start with some frogs. Heels together, toes apart, really glue those heels together, arms by your sides, and push the heels out and in. Squeeze the inner thighs and bend two more, out and in. Last one, hold those legs straight and they go up to 90 and push down and push. Now bring your legs back to 90. We'll take one big circle open and push down and around, come up and now push down, go open and around. Now bring yourself back into the frog, bend your knees, push out 
and circle open and around. And now let's reverse, open and push heels together and bend it in. Hold on to your straps, open up your feet, open up your knees, happy baby, rock it out, side to side, massage out your lower back. And breathe here in the center. And then go ahead and bring your feet down toward the springs. So you come into a reclined butterfly. Let the straps be right over the center of your hips. Stretch and release. And then go ahead and hold back onto your straps. Bring the feet up. Hug the knees into your chest. You can wrap your arms around. Give yourself a tight squeeze. And then let's take the straps off of the feet. Close the carriage. And we'll come all the way up and just take a seat. You can cross your legs or sit in any comfortable position. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, let it go. That's our Pilates workout for today on The Reformer. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you comment below what you enjoyed about this class and make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos. Let me know what you want to see next and I hope you have a wonderful day.